Hi everyone, we are doing alliteration today. Now, alliteration is when you have a sentence or a phrase where the words all start with the same sound or the same letter. So, fabulous Freddy flips fish, or um, I'd say be brilliant, you've got BB there. Um, you could have um, 30 thirsty thinkers thought thoughtlessly on Thursday. Okay, those are all examples of alliteration. Um, now we use alliteration in poetry quite a lot, but although we won't be writing poetry, but it's also a good thing to put into your creative writing because it, it, it kind of um, underlines or emphasises something. If you want something to stand out or you want the reader to remember it, um, it's quite a good idea to use, you could use alliteration to help that stick in their memory. Now your task today is to write an alliterative alphabet okay so we're going to go through all the letters of the alphabet and we're going to write an alliterative phrase or sentence for each letter um, now if you could do it in the way that i've outlined on the lesson plan i'll tell you again now so we you're going to write a an adjective and a noun and then a verb and an adverb or an adverb and a verb depending on how you do it you can add a bit more information if you want to, um, but if you could do it like that, then it keep, it makes it easier. So you could, I'll start with A, um, you could do, in fact I'm going to have a look at what I wrote on the lesson plan, that's probably helpful isn't it? Um, amazing armadillos ambled amiably. Okay, amazing armadillos ambled amiably. So they all start with the letter with the sound and also the letter A. Um, so we've got amazing, that's our adjective. Armadillos, that's our noun. So amazing describes the armadillos. So that's our adjective and our noun. And then ambled, that's our verb. And then amiably is our adverb that describes how they ambled. Okay. Um, now it doesn't really make much sense it's a bit of a nonsense sentence but it does make sense in terms of you've got your adjective your noun your verb and your adverb so what i would like you to do is to try and do that for every letter of the alphabet and i have included the alphabet in case you've forgotten all your letters which you shouldn't have but i put it there for you just in case um try and do it for all of the letters of the alphabet i've given you a few to start with so you don't have to start with a you can start with e if you like um, because there are a few examples there to get you going. If you'd like to make up your own for every letter, that would be marvellous. Um, I do think you might struggle. There are a few letters you might struggle with. I'm not sure about K. K is quite a hard one. Um, but Q and Z and X are really, really hard. So there might be some extra stars on offer if you can come up with um, some alliterative phrases for those. Um, so that is your task today, to get to do your an out so if you probably the best thing you can do it in Shobi on do it in the comments if you just write the alphabet down the side and then write it or you could do it in your in your English book and photograph that and send it to me or scan it um, and maybe leave a line in between each one so stop and remember you don't have to start at A because I've done that for you you can start at E if you like or the choice is yours um, I hope that all makes sense. If you are unsure or if you'd like to say hi or if you've got any questions, please come to the Zoom session at 9.45. The codes are the same. Okay, be brilliant. There's your alliteration for the day um, and I'll see you soon.